What's up guys, Jacob Ober here. Today we're going to be talking about something that is still a little ways away at this point in time, but something to consider at least at this point in the season, especially after what happened last night. So if you didn't hear last night, of course the Bucks beat the Pelicans and I did my Buck talk and we saw a lot of potential out of DJ Wilson and guys like that uh, who came up huge down the stretch for the Bucks. But uh, another thing happened after the game that was very interesting and that was Giannis saying to Anthony Davis after the game, come to the Bucks," And in, in, mind you, in a joking manner, but still, it was interesting to hear him say that because I can't help but feel like Giannis saying that was to put to plant the seed in the mind of Anthony Davis. Like, maybe, maybe Anthony Davis will remember that come free agency, you know? Maybe Giannis was doing it to, like, say, hey, you know, remember us when you're when you're in free agency, and even if it wasn't a joking manner, I still think it accomplished the, it might have accomplished the goal of planting the seed in his mind. And, you know, this isn't as crazy of a thing as a lot of people might say. I mean, obviously, a, a second superstar coming to Milwaukee might only be something that you'd think would happen at a trade or something like that. But if the Bucks are truly a team this year that gets far and gets to the cusp of maybe getting to the finals or even winning the finals then Milwaukee might be a place that Anthony Davis seriously considers because they would be maybe only a piece away from actually getting there and winning the entire thing. And obviously Anthony Davis has had to endure some years of mediocrity in New Orleans of the past, in the past few years during his time in the NBA. So coming to the Bucks, I mean, I think Giannis and Anthony Davis would be two players that complement each other perfectly. And a lot of people might point out that, oh, Anthony Davis and Boogie didn't really play that well, all, all that well together in New Orleans, but I would counter that with the fact that they were both kind of their, the, same, the same kind of big man. I mean, they were both centers who could stretch the floor, shoot the three. They weren't really either shot creators or anything. Giannis makes a living out of setting up his teammates for shots, for open looks. Can you imagine him setting up Anthony Davis for alley-oops or wide-open threes at the top of the key off the pick-and-rolls? Like... I mean, it'd be a dream come true. Now, obviously, the Bucks, if this were to happen, it would probably cost them uh, being able to re-sign Eric Bledsoe, Chris Middleton, maybe Malcolm Brogdon. But, I mean, at the, if, if you have a chance to get Anthony Davis and Giannis Antetokounmpo alongside each other, it doesn't even matter who's in the backcourt because these two guys would just, they would just kill it. I mean, as long as you've got, like, three other guys on the team who can shoot the three pretty well, it don't matter. It just doesn't matter who it is. I mean, you could have George Hill or Matthew Della, Della Vadova for all I care. You could have anybody, any any Joe Schmo out there who can shoot a three, and you'd, you'd be just fine. I mean, that's all the backcourt would really have to do as long as Giannis and AD are setting each other up for shots, you know? So, uh, But, I mean, it'd be a deadly combination. It'd be something that would, like, for sure would probably make the Bucks finals favorites coming in next year or finals favorites to get to the finals in the Eastern Conference. But obviously it's still a long ways away, but it's still something to think about at this point. And I thought it was really interesting that Giannis actually said that to Anthony Davis. And even if it was said in a joking manner, like I said before, it might have still been said to kind of plant that seed in his mind, you know, like, hey, remember us and when, when free agency comes around this summer, remember us if we are a team that almost gets there and needs just one more piece to actually get over the top, you know? So, um, anyways, guys, so that's all I have to say in this video. Uh, I just kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit on that. I didn't really go too in-depth in this, but uh, it was it's still something, an, an interesting thought to entertain, at least at this point in the season. But, um, obviously, there's still a lot of season left to play. The Bucks are 21-9 and nine right now. They've got a good squad regardless, and I mean, if they... If they don't get Anthony Davis this summer or anything, obviously it wouldn't be something to hang your head on. I mean, they still have a really, really talented group, and of course Mike Budenholzer is at the helm of all of it, and he's got everyone playing really, really good basketball at this point. So, um, anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Would you want Anthony Davis to come to the Bucks this summer? Do you think that's a realistic possibility? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, go Bucks.